Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing great. In today's video as well as probably my next one, I'm going to be sharing with you my reading choice and language arts choice for my first grader for the upcoming 22-23 school year. But as you can tell from the title down below, today I'm going to be sharing with you the Christian Light Education First Grade Reading Program. It is this program right here. It is the I Wonder set from Christian Light and it comes with the one, two, three, four, five light units. So I have the whole set for the actual student books and then I also picked up the I Wonder Reader that goes along with that. I'm super excited about this. One of the reasons why I love CLE in general, and I know this is something so simple and basic, but I love how they break up their units and it's kind of funny because I, it, this is, could be a pro and con depending on you and your family and everything like that. But I actually do like how it's not all in one book because sometimes, especially with my little ones, they can look at the thick book and get really overwhelmed with all the information they have to learn even though they only have to do one page at a time, right? <laughs> so I love how they do this and I feel like, because we've already started CLE with my kindergartner and then my first grader um, is already doing his first grade math and everything. We'll get into that later, but they love these light units because they can complete a whole one within just a matter of weeks. And to them, there's nothing more encouraging than actually taking the light unit and putting their final grade on the back or a smiley face on the back if they're in the little years and it's completed they get to put it down and it's so exciting for them when they get to pull out a new one and it's fresh and new and exciting and i just find that with them broken up this way it's very encouraging for them to visually actually see and handle the fact that they're actually excelling and moving forward and yeah i don't know that's one of my favorite things about them and another thing I will mention too is if you are brand new to this curriculum or if you maybe just want to test it out for your family, they are very, very affordable. And another reason why I love that they do this is you can buy each individual unit separately and they're only a few dollars. So if you wanted to go through and if you wanted to test out before school starts this year, if you wanted to test out just one of these and kind of open it, see if your kiddos like it before committing to the whole program, it is a very, very economical and <laughs> amazing way to do that. I will mention that the entire curriculum, like my first grader's entire reading curriculum, the entire course was, I believe, $17.50, and then his reader was $10.50. So I was able to get everything for his first grade reading program. And then I did add on the extra add-on things, which is the phonics flashcards. And we'll get into these in the flip through as well. I really, really do enjoy these flashcards. So I forget what the cost of the flashcards were, but I'll have the total price um, in the corner of the screen here for the entire year for his reading program. But as I mentioned, if you did want to test it out to see if this curriculum or honestly any other curriculums that they have on their website will work for your family, I love that you can purchase each individual light unit so you can try it out without committing to a whole year. I did also purchase for his first grade curriculum the CLE level one or grade one language arts curriculum and then some also additional things that I'll be sharing with you when I get to the video of what we're doing for the 22-23 school year all together for his grade. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into a flip through. So I thought I would go ahead and start with just flipping through a couple of the actual light units. As I mentioned before, the Reading 1 program does come with five of them. Once you get to the Reading 2, like a second grade, you're going to get into like 10 light units and you'll break it up into different semesters. But this one only has the five. At the beginning of every light unit, you are going to have kind of like notes to teacher and student. It's going to kind of show you a little bit how to administer the light unit and the symbols and everything like that. Um, all of the CLE light units do have little test booklets in every single book. So before issuing the light unit to the student, you're going to remove the test from the center and then give to the student as directed in the light unit. So before you actually give the student their book for the first time, you're going to open it up to the light unit test and just pull this out and then keep that separate. And then when the book tells you to go ahead and test them, you can go ahead and pull that out again. Some people for first grade and kindergarten especially don't do the test, so it's completely up to you on whether or not you want to administer those. Um, I always find that they're really helpful just to see where the student is, so I do actually like that they have that in there. So at the end of each unit, they get a little test, and then after they complete the test, sometimes we'll do like a little show and tell or just celebrate the fact that they did 
their whole first unit and just make it a really big deal. That's why I mentioned before that I really like having little units because I don't know, it's just something fun to celebrate with the little ones when they do complete a whole one. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it some more. Um, you're gonna start out with your table of contents. On the first lesson, one of the things that I love about this curriculum that I have actually never seen in any other one is they actually introduce the students to the diacritical mark. And that is just kind of showing the students kind of how much stress to put on the vowel sounds and everything like that. But if you look at a dictionary, you will notice that a lot of the vowels are going to be spelled either upside down and a lot of the letters were. And so I really like that they introduced that concept to them at this age to get them used to kind of seeing them this way. So they actually really know how a word is spelled. And then it kind of goes into more of it here. When you see an upside down E, you say the short U sound and then you go into some more examples examples like that. But I love that they introduced that in the very first lesson because as I mentioned before, I've actually never seen that in any reading curriculum before. And then you'll go into more of like the diacritical letters and everything like that and how they work. And then there's always fun activities and stuff for them to do. So it's going to color the words with the E sound or I should say the U sound. Um, and then they're going to finish the lesson up by circle the things that can be hot, circle the answer what type of things do you eat, um, underline the things that you would play with, and things like that. So that would be the entire first lesson. And the second lesson, you again are gonna be working on, this is technically the UR sound, the diacritical type letters and the wording and everything like that, learning really, really well how to spell certain letters using that technique. Um, you're gonna be coloring the words, there's question words, and then there's match the sentence for all of lesson two. Lesson three, you're gonna have your study words, write a study word that has that sound in it, and then write four study words. So a lot of just really, really good reading practice um, and reading comprehension. By the time you get to lesson four, you will then be ready to start your first story on your reader. And all of the readers and all of the books that you will need for this entire curriculum is all in this one book. It's a great, great, high quality hardcover book. I love that because this will pretty much last forever. You will be opening up and you will be ready for the pages one through eight in your reader of Who's Afraid of Thunder? And this will be the actual reading part that you're going to get into. One of my favorite aspects, and this is just for our family and for me personally, is I love how beautiful the stories are. Everything is biblical based. All the stories do have to do with character and building your faith and always end and surround and kind of like the entire meaning of the stories has to do with God and building the child's character and things like that. The stories are beautiful and the pictures are obviously very, very well done, but you're gonna have a Bible verse to start off each picture with. And I love that because I want my kiddos curriculum to also teach them not just about reading comprehension, but you know, we're learning um, verses in the Bible, we're learning character building stories, we're learning about nature, like all the fun stuff and the important stuff to our family is in this curriculum. So you're going to read the first eight pages for the story for lesson number four. And I will mention too that in the reader, all of the words that are either difficult or that they might struggle with are going to be in bold. So it is telling you kind of as a teacher that, hey, these are going to be the struggle words. So they will probably need help with those. <laughs> and I love that they can do that. And it just helps you as a mama kind of know what to point out to your child, but also lets the child know that like, hey, that's a hard word. You can go ask, you know, obviously for it. And then it's only in bold the first time it comes up. The next time it comes up, it's not in bold. Um, so it's a good way for them to do that, that it does tie back everything to God. Um, but we do not need to be afraid. God will take care of us. We do not need to be afraid of what will happen. So Benny nodded as he got down. I will try not to be afraid anymore, he said. So I love how it's just like, as I mentioned, character building, talks about our faith in God and everything like that, all in a great, great, great reading curriculum. After you read the story, the student will then kind of answer questions about the story. So one of the reasons why I also have chosen this curriculum as well, not just for the actual wholesome stories and the character building stories, but the actual reading comprehension part is really, really good. So they read the story. You can either read it together. My little guy loves it when I read out loud. So we'll probably be doing some of both. 
And then if I do read out loud, I always like doing the more of that Charlotte Mason style where I have him kind of tell me what he learned from the story and everything like that. So I like how they have questions at the end of every story, um, more question words, they're gonna be introduced to that. Um, again, you're gonna be talking about feelings. How will Benny feel the next time there's a thunderstorm? How will Katie feel the next time there's a thunderstorm? <laughs> and things like that. And then of course, as I mentioned, one of my favorite things about the curriculum is that the lesson will end with the Bible verse, the voice of thy thunder was in the heaven from Psalm 77, 18. Um, and I just, I love that aspect of this curriculum. And then in the second unit, and I'm honestly just gonna go through these really quickly at this point, so this video is not forever long. Your second unit and your contents, every single lesson is going to have to do with stories from this reader. So the very first chapter, honestly the first two days I should say, is all gonna be about Willie's Penny Trapped. So on page 36, so you're gonna go through this again, God loveth a cheerful giver, so we're learning all about that. And again, your more difficult words as a student might struggle with, they will also be in bold. And again, throughout every single story. I love the illustrations in here. I think they're so, so, so pretty. But with the actual stories as well, they'll also be introduced to some beautiful poems. And again, this is just right up my kid's alley. So I am really excited about this reader. They're very, very, very well done. And again, just going through reading comprehension. This is not necessarily a curriculum that's going to have all of your language arts, phonetic, like every all those rules in here. This is honestly more of just like a really great, great reading comprehension course. That's why I am coupling it up with the language arts this year. Anyway, so you'll get to the light unit test and everything like that, but just a, just a very great, thorough, such a great, um, well done curriculum. So in light unit three, you again, everything is going to be centered around the stories in your reader. And the first one is, of course, going to be The Broken Lily. Anyway, so there are all the same thing. Everything is going to be centered around the reader for unit three. For unit number four, it's the exact same thing. You're going to be reading out of this book a lot. So everything in here, all of your questions, everything is going to be centered around all the stories. And again, I don't know, I don't want to keep saying the same thing, but I do love this concept because when you're doing reading comprehension, you're reading the story, you're answering questions about it, you're looking at the hard words and the struggling words that I mentioned that are in bold in here, and you're highlighting those, those are the words you work on, and it's really taking, I feel like, the reading experience to a different level because you're actually having to comprehend what you read in order to do the workbook stuff, so I love that about it. So that's the fourth one, again, very similar to the second, third, and fifth one. And then, of course, the last one is going to end with the last few stories of your book. And you're gonna have some more poetry, you're gonna have some more just beautifully well done stories, and everything like that. So just a great, great, great reading curriculum. I am so excited about this. And again, I'm familiar with CLE. I've used it for pretty much most of my life growing up since I was homeschooled as well. I just feel like I see it through a different light when I'm the one teaching it, <laughs> I'm the one introducing the things to the kiddos. I just see it in a different light, I think, than I used to. Um, and I don't know, it's just so sweet and beautiful. But anyway, so this is the fifth unit and together there are five units all together for the reading program. So this and the reader is honestly all you absolutely need for the curriculum. I will be honest, the um, reading a first grade curriculum teacher guide, I wouldn't say it was 100% necessity unless you are new to homeschooling. If you are brand new to homeschooling, I do highly recommend picking up the teacher guide. I'll have the price on the screen here so you can kind of get an idea of what the course would be with and without it. But if you are brand new to homeschooling, I definitely recommend picking that up because that's gonna give you some more tips and everything like that. If you are not new to homeschooling and you are really just wanting something, first of all, there's no lesson planning involved, which is awesome. <laughs> if you're a busy mama, um, it's just open and go workbook. So if this is your type of a thing and if that's what your family is looking for, definitely you probably don't need the teacher guide. But like I said, every family is different. Some people do like to have the teacher guide on hand. Um, I just haven't found that it was useful for me yet, at least doing my initial flip through. I could change my mind 
And again, I'll try to keep you updated in the description box down below once we actually do start and if I actually utilize a teacher guide, then I'll let you know. Um, but the last thing that I did get for this curriculum is the actual phonics flashcards. I love these flashcards, first of all. They are just very, very well done. Let's see if I can get a map here. You're going to start with your beginning spelling, and I actually did get the, these initially for my kindergartner, so you can get these for any. Um, but it also has your vowel set cards, so you'll go through all of those. Your beginning consonant blends, so you'll have a bunch of those. Your ending consonant blends, and again, just the little illustrations are really, really cute as well. And then you'll be introduced to the O sound. Introduced to the I, like the long I sound. And then long vowels, the hard C sound, and everything like that. So these cards are amazing. Um, your CH sound. So for example, my first grader right now is actually struggling with the ED suffix. Just because it does say D, T, and Ed. And it's very confusing. <laughs> so... We have pulled these ones out a few times. Um, you have your silent consonant sounds and everything like that. And then it does introduce the um, different type of like spelling and everything. So very, very well done. And then at the back of every card, I have actually shared these cards several times, but on the back of every card, it will have some practice words to you act for you to actually practice with. Even like the beginning ones here, they'll have like an entire list of words for you to practice. So I highly recommend these flashcards, especially if you're looking for a more, I don't know what you call, a thorough deck of flashcards. I'll even pull a few of these out, honestly, for our morning basket. As I mentioned before, say he's struggling with these two blends here, the SPR and STR, so the SPR and the STRA. I will honestly just take a couple of these cards out and I'll put these as part of our little morning basket. And just this single card is really all the practice that we need to get our kind of skill <laughs> up to par, I should say. But I love that concept and I love that idea that it's not just a flashcard where you're learning one special blend, but they're actually giving you an opportunity to practice without having a whole nother curriculum to practice. So definitely recommend these cards, especially if you have um, that kindergarten or first grader in your home.